Welcome, everybody, to Cooking with Poppy. Today, we are going to be making a delicious banana pudding. Be sure to leave a comment below to let us know what you think of this video. And most importantly, like and subscribe. To make this delicious dessert, you need only a few simple ingredients. So let's get started, shall we? Start with one five ounce box of vanilla pudding. Then add two cups of ice cold milk. Then what do we do, girls? Stir, stir it in, Poppy. That's right. We're going to stir this together for just a few minutes until it starts to set up. I know the directions on the box do not say to do this, but let's add one teaspoon of vanilla. Then we're going to give that a quick stir. And now I'm going to cover this with saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator for about a half an hour. Next, take one cup heavy whipping cream. Add one quarter cup of sugar. And add one teaspoon of vanilla. And then we are going to whisk this all together to make our homemade cool whip. Add a pinch of salt. We're going to whisk this until it forms nice peaks. As you can see, it doesn't take long before it starts to thicken up. And now we have homemade Cool Whip for our banana pudding. Now it's time to make the cream cheese mixture. I'm going to take one 8 ounce block of cream cheese, one can of sweetened condensed milk, and now we're just going to mix these two together. I'm going to start my mixer on low at first. And I'll slowly speed it up, that way I won't make a big mess. Once it's all nice and mixed together, we will add our homemade Cool Whip. And then our vanilla pudding mixture. And now I'm going to give it a quick mix. While I'm making sure this is all mixed up right, the girls are getting ready to cut up some bananas. How's that going, girls? Is this okay, Poppy? That looks perfect, Guinevere. Okay. Let's do this. Ready to go, Poppy. Now that the bananas are done, I'm just going to crush some vanilla wafers to use it as a topping on our pudding. And then we'll be ready to assemble this dessert. I'm gonna start with a nice layer of vanilla pudding. Then I'm gonna add some bananas and a little bit more vanilla pudding. And then some more bananas. And now let's add some vanilla wafer. And we'll put a few on the sides here and then another layer of vanilla pudding and then some more bananas and then some more vanilla wafers till you get to the top of your dish make sure the last layer of pudding completely covers the bananas it will help keep them from getting brown And now one last vanilla wafer. Let's top this banana pudding with some crushed vanilla wafer crumbs. And here you have a banana pudding that your family is gonna love. 
I've covered all the other ones with saran wrap and put them in the refrigerator to set up. But this one I'm afraid I'm going to have to eat. We really hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for coming everybody. It's definitely time to use my tasting spoon.